Hello, hello. Welcome to <laughs> another episode of House Arrest, the world's very first live interactive design show. Can it be done? We've no idea. I'm Clive Pierce. And I'm Lisa Laporta. And he's right in what he's saying. We make over a space in a house live. Normally on makeover shows, we have weeks to recreate a room. Not here. We have 30 minutes to take over this home, get to go know a guest a little bit, and have a great time. Pressure is on Lisa Laporta. I wouldn't do it personally, but in 30 minutes, this is what she will do. And this is where you come in because we are live and we are interactive. You can ask questions to not just the guests, but to Lisa about her design choices. Sometimes they're a bit puzzling, let's face it. Um, if you have a comment, question, anything you like, jump on and Chime we'll have in. you live in the show. We are live, look. Ouch! Yes, live, that's <laughs> proof. Okay, let's talk about our guest because look at this beautiful place. Look where we are, folks. We are in Hollywood. Well, not exactly. Ish. We are in Hollywood Los Angeles. Hollywood adjacent. Hollywood <laughs> adjacent. And we have a fantastic celebrity guest on our show today. We are outside the guest house for legendary film director, Mr. Paul Feig. Now, Paul is a huge deal. We all know that. Um, and Paul, I gotta say, as well as being a, a brilliant director, uh, has a business, which I'm personally very thrilled about. He has his own line of gin. It is called Art, that's why we're here, basically. It's called Art Installs. And in here is where Paul, it's a clue to why we're here. I'll let him explain. So lots to get through. Let's go inside Let's go and meet inside. Paul Feig. Come and join us. Don't trip over that bush here. Oh, not again. Not again. Let's find Paul Feig. Oh, 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 hi. I was just, I was just contemplating the, the world. Hello. Oh. What are you doing here? Hello. Hello there. How, How are, are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for showing up in, the, in my guest house here. It's all it's, where it all happens. It is fantastic. Now, we tried to dress up, but we, we were here. And you're very dapper at all. You very always dapper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, I, I don't look good in casual clothes. So I put on, I can ruin any pair of jeans. Uh, from the inside out. No, I, I just I make them all look like a dad jeans, so it's uh, it's just better to just wear, wear a nice suit. We're going to have to up our game for future future episodes. Come on in, come on in. I'm sorry you have to see the guest house because it, it's it, I'm not proud of our guest house uh, because we've never figured out how to make that work. Oh, hence, hence. hence. The arrival of the Laporta. The house arrest, exactly. Yes, I yes. like it. Here, here. But this is this has been really this area has been your heart, hasn't it? For, yeah. Right through the pandemic. Yeah, I mean we had this bar built uh, when we redecorated this a number of years ago, and I've always loved it. When the pandemic started and I was here, I was like, how can I help? And I'm not a medical medical profession, so I was professional. So I thought, well, I'll try to entertain people every day, and at five o'clock I'll show them how to make a cocktail, and we'll dance, and we'll raise money for charity. And this was a perfect setup because the way this works, and I can just put my um, my tripod up here. I'm all it's all back there, and then we, um, you know, we just did the show. We did it for 100 days in a row. And, oh wow, that's yeah, right. That's right. Day off. You kept me drinking throughout. The oh, no, I enjoy. You're welcome. You You're welcome. did a cocktail a day on Instagram. Yeah, for yeah we did a show days every in a row? day, no day off. And, and, that's uh, amazing. Yeah, it was fun. It kind of got us through the worst of the lockdown, I think, and then um, then I then I made it sort of a weekly. Most people know Paul that we're friends, and I, I was your personal gin tester, taster. Yes, you were, exactly. Um, yep, exactly. And you one of Every one day of for 100 days. Early supporter of, of Hardy Souls. <laughs> yes. Early London Dry Gin, thank you. Early consumer. And Early as consumer. a great gin drinker, let's just make sure, because I'm looking behind you up there, we've got, um, can we pan up behind Paul? We've oh got gosh, look, there's bottles of my gin. Full <laughs> art installs display. Wow. And uh, that's a little marker on the uh, pandemic, because those are all empty. So, uh, <laughs> they, they were not emptied five. by anything other than myself and my wife. And Artie Stalls was your mother's maiden yes. name. Yeah, my so mother's maiden name. I wanted to, when I created this gin, I wanted it to sound like it had been around for 150 years. It sounded like an authentic one to drive. Like, okay. Okay. Well, maybe we will earn ourselves a beverage at the end of this. Well, I hope so. You've got to work hard. <laughs> um, we will, which, yeah. which leads us to this dilemma. So tell us what's, yes. what's been going on. Let's take a look. Because yeah. this is a great looking shell of a room. Oh, it's an amazing room. But then we just, I don't know, for some reason, we can never figure out how to arrange this because it's kind of a pass through. Yes. We're stuck with this door, you know, that leads to the garage that we don't use. So we <laughs> Lori put a, put a dartboard up on that. She got into darts for like two seconds. So now that's up. She's I can't decide. That's her. <laughs> no, don't buy that. Don't 
Okay. And then I got this amazing game table I love, which you Four actually, chests. you take it apart and it's got literally, there's a checkerboard and you take it up, it can be, become a, um, a poker table and then there's a roulette wheel inside of it. Oh, so wow. this is kind of been shifted around and then I don't even know where this furniture came from. And I just, it's it's a waste of a space because I'm making drinks there, but then when I want to serve people, what do they do? This is another the floor. So I, it's, it's the shame. The shame of our room of shame. It's exactly. not. It's not bad, but this is where you want to feel you could entertain your many celebrity friends. Very much so. Um, I'm actually hearing from a, a squeaky door, by the way. Oh, that's my Who's producer's here? new nickname. Will be a squeaky <laughs> door. There we go. Um, we, we invited our viewers right at the top to um, call in with questions. Oh, and I believe we have our our first question. Hello. Hey there. Hi there. Hi Paul. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Fantastic. Excited about the show. Excited to see what's going to happen next. Yeah. I did have a question for you though. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm a huge fan um, of your work as a producer, as a director, as an actor in so many comedies. Is there one production or film that you've been in in particular that you're most proud of or you relate to the most? Um, Of the ones that I directed also? Of the ones that you directed. Uh, that you've directed also. Is okay, I mean, I'm really, I, look, I love I love all my babies, but uh, uh, I really love Spy. Spy to me is, is really special because yeah, I, was, I wrote I wrote it. And yeah, it's hilarious. Really fun, we shot it in Budapest, and um, yeah, I just had a great time. I kind of got to make the James Bond movie that I know that the, the broccolis will never let me make. So, uh, <laughs> so thank you though. Back to the makeover and back to the room. I love this painting. Isn't that great? That, that is actually, if you saw my movie, A Simple Favor, this was in that movie. Uh, it's from a great artist named Heather Horton out of uh, Toronto. And I loved it so much, I was like, I want to buy it at the end. So we bought it, put it up. So it's kind of nice because it attached, you know, kind of mirrors the pool we have out there. Love it. But it, it's almost like it's classier than anything else in here other than the Christmas tree. So there you go. That's I not going anywhere. <laughs> the Christmas God. tree can stay. You know, I really think it's a tricky room because it yeah. is a pathway from the garage and from the door. But this is a clubhouse. It feels like you want to party, smoke cigars, hang yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So I really think it's about emptying out these pieces of furniture that don't fill the space yep. and putting in some really comfy club chairs. Great. Let's just do this. Like this. She I just goes like this. this. And look at that. No, I love that. I mean, literally, it's been years we've been trying to figure out what to do. We do stuff, and it's like, I don't like that. So help us. Yeah. Probably Obi Wan, you're my only hope. <laughs> yeah, should we go do it? Yes, Lisa's been peering at the photographs. She yes. Has a, she has a plan. So we have a help, a, a great resource in town in LA. Oh, great. And we are using her furniture today. And let's get to it. Yes. We must say a big shout out to Color Me Soul Staging. Amanda from Color Me Soul Staging has provided all the furniture for oh, the room today. To thank, you, yes. thank you, Amanda. Yes. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I, this is the look where you put me to work. Let's go. I'm <laughs> familiar with it. I think you're off the hook. Oh, good. Yeah, okay, gonna you go sit down. Have a seat. We're going to start moving things yeah. out. Is it just me? No. Um, so you know, I go everywhere with a hunky helper. Ah, well, yeah, him. In, in Thank addition you. to oh, Colin, oh, please. Go. So I'm going to open she can up do these better. doors, <laughs> and we're going to start getting to work. Oh, oh my, this is, is Josh. Hello, you, you, you are a hunky helper. Nice to meet you. How, How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Pleasure, <laughs> sir. Good to see you. You ready to do some uh, yes. heavy lifting? What do we have today? Okay, let's open up the doors. I want to take all of these chairs out. And I love the She'll game table, yes. but for what yeah. we're going to do today, take we're going to take it out because Excellent. I want this to be more about um, a club, a club room a club. setting. So we're going to start rolling up rugs and okay. taking out chairs, take and I names. can help too. <laughs> Um, so let's just start getting things out. Lovely. You should, can I help? If you like. Okay. I wouldn't you like can, to, but so I you will. Can, if you I, have to. I don't oh, want okay. you to break a sweat in your dad for Here. <laughs> that. There you go. Look at me, I'm helping. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Is it heavy, heavy? It's kind of heavy. Oh, it is. This is a beautiful yeah, table. I found it on La Brea, you know, like years ago. So I'll we'll do here. most of it. I'll just appear to help. Well, I'm going to get this rug rolled up. I'm not going to 
worry about the extra, like I want to remove that lamp table. Yes. We can leave the cigars, those okay. need to stay. There's a little bit of a bite. We there. can leave the guitar, that okay. should stay in the room. Excellent. Oh, Interesting yes. that this is all going to happen in under 30 minutes. I, 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 you're up for a challenge. I, I'm just going to stand here. 30 Watch minute takeover. Okay, guys, so there is a the rug in the rug. I'd like you to bring that in. <laughs> Let's bring the rug in oh. and roll it out. Now, I selected some furniture with Amanda for the space right. based on this piece of art. Oh. I went very neutral because you have a white and gold tile. So you'll see in a minute, but we have very neutral choices so that the blue pops in the room nice. and the pool in the space. Okay, let's roll this out. This is like a uh, long ways, yes. Just yes. clean it. There's not a body in there, is there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. It's our last home of the previous episode. That's what we did like. Yes. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, you guys could start bringing in the chairs. Okay. Yes. And, um... Lisa, there's a question for you. Yes. Go ahead and ask. All right. Cool. Hi. Because this is a bar, does he have any Mad Men elements that he's pulling into this room? Mm. That's a good question. Martini glasses. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, yeah. The martinis. I, I, I love classic martinis. That's my favorite drink in the world. So that that you know, nothing like a martini glass that says sort of that era more than more than I can come up with. That is amazing. Did you did you steal any uh, of the um, set pieces at all from the show? <laughs> no, I, I was only on that. I was on the first season, but when I showed up, I used to wear very like thin lapeled, uh, thin tied outfits. And when I showed up as the director, they were like, "Oh, a casting's down the hall." So they actually thought I was <laughs> as an actor. So. Uh, <laughs> They stole my look is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> I love it. Well, it's an amazing room. And of course I'm big fans of Clive and Lisa and the show and I've followed them for years. So I can't wait to see the after. Me too. I'm very excited because this room is, yeah. <laughs> it needs it. So thank you. Thanks for calling in. I'm going to unplug this and take this out. Do you want to take the box and the... Oh yeah. Chair number four coming in. There you go. Chair number four. Now I know this is going to feel really full compared to what you're used That's to. That's all right. I'm, Ooh, I'm afraid to lift this. Oh yeah, it's got it's a whole got a whole gimbal Lisa. thing on there. I rocked your flap. <laughs> <laughs> Let me adjust it. <laughs> okay, we need to watch the doors Ooh, now because amazing. it's not a huge wide space. It's going to be a little tricky with the doors. Yes. Which we tend to not open that much, but I want to have the option to do it. Like you right. said, in case we smoke a cigar in here or something. Not that I smoke cigars occasionally. Not that you smoke exactly. cigars. That's right. So the coffee table and some throw pillows, guys. So it's all about the art piece. So I chose neutral chairs, because as, as I said, to pick up on the neutral quality of the space. Okay. There will be pops of blue that will shout out to the art. Mm -hmm. And that's really so the key. It's lovely. We um, almost lost, lost Josh in the pool. Oh no. <laughs> not, <laughs> well, not easy to say. It's just like another that. weekend party here, isn't it? There are some accessories, Josh, in the box okay. that go on this table. There's like a globe and some blue oh, items. Yeah. Mm. This viewers, this is how you place a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, You're, she taught me that. Well, You're a professional. I Everything I know. <laughs> so it's all about the pop of blue. Yeah. And I love starting with a piece of artwork when inspiring the decor for a room. Yeah. And I love going neutrals on the big items. Yeah. And you know, then you can change out the artwork and the pops of color. Yeah, I think it's lovely. With time. I like it. I what like do you it. think so far? I'm very happy so far. I always want to create a conversation pit. If yes. you will, and, and where we can talk and put drinks down and all that. And so here it is. This is great. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, I, don't, I, I think I was tied so much to the game table yes. that it controlled the room. Well, the room felt a little bit just right on the coffee table. Yeah, golden glow. Oh, oh. I, finally, I won something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't go. Any of those objects. When you have small accessories, it's nice to cluster them. Um, you like a cluster. <laughs> you know, these I'm chairs, surprised you didn't jump on that. I, I, I was gonna stop I you were holding back. <laughs> these chairs could have been leather. I could also imagine Ooh. retro I like good leather chairs, something a little vintage. I think that's cool. Um, but I think the idea of having at least four. Well, this keeps it bright too. Yes, it does. Yeah, no, I, that four is great because I, I can't I can't deal with more than four people anymore. So, <laughs> well, that's 
Oh, very Are those cool. rockets? <laughs> gonna say yeah. what the? What right did you on, have in mind? Right on the table. You <laughs> could, uh, you could. Uh, me. They're actually there's nothing in them. You could. Oh, he's going here. Oh, look, they're bowling pins. Once you place those pins, I say it's cocktail time. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. so, speaking my language, and I, and I often hear from Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. I like that. If you get fed up with a guest, you can <laughs> melt them to death. Oh, with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they fall the pool. Yes. It's like the end of Sunset Boulevard. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. Movie How are we doing on time? <laughs> um, just make this up. Oh, we're getting very close onto, onto our deadline. <laughs> well, we only have our 30 minutes. Oh, yes, that too. Yes, actually, we're good. Anything else to come in from the no, garage? No, we are good. This is it. I wanted I a warm, cozy club chair setting. I think and that's what we have. I love this. I think Let's... this is really smart. Um, I'm going to just make sure there's nothing left outside. Okay. Hey, Lisa, would you ever suggest putting any thing here? We could, that now, because it would clutter it up. Now, I thought about the idea of putting two chairs against that wall and two chairs in front of the door. I think this works no. better. I mean, even like, like a long table. There could be a table there. So let's go over to the bar and have a cocktail. I'm exhausted. Are you in cocktail bit. mode? I'm, in co I'm always in cocktail. Yeah. All right, I'm up for it. But now I want to sit in this, this wonderful new room. I'm going to close the door so it stays Straight. cool oh, yeah. in here. Let's take a long look at this changed room. Yes, look at that. I think it's beautiful. Wow. It you looks know, it's bigger. funny. It looks bigger. It's yeah. a big room. Um, we could tweak the chairs a little bit, move them around. But basically, <laughs> the dartboard really makes the place though. So uh, yeah. It and draws the, the eye and the corkboard <laughs> under it. That's my contribution. <laughs> so now I'd like to see what you do with your chin. Uh, yeah, Does that sound inappropriate? <laughs> <laughs> It's I, live. I think so. I think so. I'm going to leave that one just. Ooh, as it cheeky! Is. There exactly. Is. There we go. So this is the this is the house arrest. This is the house arrest. We're making a cocktail called the house arrest in honor of the house arrest. My new favorite show. All right, I'm breaking a little rule here because normally these would be um, frozen, but I don't have a freezer out here, so we're just going to. Okay. But I'm going to make the drink so cold that uh, you won't know what's happened. To you. All right. So uh, this is basically I'm just going to do a, a variation on a martini. Because I love martini. This is my favorite. Today. I love a good martini. But I'm putting a little uh, orange twist. Ooh, uh, that's your old nickname. <laughs> <laughs> and your hair was a different color. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of vermouth. Taste of vermouth. Um, just to open up the gin. So there we go. Just to, we're going to make it four of these. So they just kind of a bigger pour. Ah. Um, yep. And now we take out, oh, what's this? Arding Stahl's gin. Goodness me. My goodness. Yay. Who created this? Look at the beautiful bottle. <laughs> Available everywhere. Uh, available. Go to artingstallsgin.com and find out where you can buy it. And yes. they're available in the UK too. So. Wasn't that spontaneous? Wasn't that weird? Oh, thank, you. thank you, sir. And now I'm gonna just try to make it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just fill, wow. this, fill this baby up. There we go. All right. It's like a test tube. And telling you. So now you think it's done, but now here's where. Here's where it becomes the house arrest. Um, uh oh, I hope I have it. I, I, here we go, orange bitters. So now I'm gonna take some orange bitters. Is that also your nickname? Yes. <laughs> That's my other nickname. There's a picture right. name. There's a picture of Clive during lockdown. Uh, so there it is. <laughs> it's uncanny. Is it really? It's, when he didn't shave. There we go. Two dashes of orange bitters per drink. So I make a four drink. So let's put in uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nice. And one more for, nice. for, for good fun. Measure. Since we're in California. Yes. Uh, and now we're just going to stir it. So you want to stir this drink? So you're not shaken. You are a stirred martini man. I am martini a stirred man. martini man. I, James Bond is wrong. I think so. Yeah. Because, well, here's, here's, here's my theory on He's what James deep. Bond. Well, I think he wanted a uh, shaken one because as a super spy, he had to keep his wits about him. But when you shake a martini a lot, you really water it down. But maybe he wanted to water it down so he could fight. Bad guys, exactly. That's interesting because I shake the, the goodness out of my martinis. I like. Well, most bartenders do. Very cold and very shaken is usually what I say. I'll, I'll stir more in the privacy of my home. I mean, but if you like the ice chips and stuff on top, then more power to you. I'm not here to judge. I just the way that I like to make it. So there you go. So I want to get this very, very I've cold. I've never tasted bitters before in a martini. Oh, okay. Well, you're about to. Not be able to say that ever again. Yeah. All right, so while that's getting cold, I'm gonna cut um, some lemon twists. So, I mean, uh, orange twists. Normally I do an, a lemon twist in my martinis, but since this has got the orange bitters, we're gonna lean in the orange of it all. So here we go. And of course, this will be featured in your upcoming cocktail book. Why, yes, so how, it's so funny you would mention that. Yes, Colin. imagine. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, out in November um, from William Morrow Publishers. It's called Cocktail Time. 
uh, the ultimate guide to grown up fun. And it's 125 <laughs> drink recipes, but also advice on how to stock your bar, how to throw a cocktail party, what to do, the whole thing. So, the um, perfect gift in time for Christmas. Isn't time. that strange? Is that the title again is? It's called Cocktail Time. There we go. There's our twist. That's a little dinky one. But, all right, we'll give that to, we'll give that to somebody off camera. All right, so here yes. we go. Now we're going to pour our, our martinis. Normally these would be very cold glasses, so pretend they're cold. Oh boy, it's so full Ooh, that, that it's dribbling delicious. out the bottom. There we go. And do you encourage drinking cocktails on your sets? Ah, uh, no, no. But after after we're done, then and it's good. You know, full check. And now what you want to do is the proper way to do it is you express over the top, so then you get all your oil twist out, the twist rind. and the twist the rind, get it in there, and that puts it on. You're gonna taste that. You're gonna get a little. Oh, I'm very excited. Orange oil on top. Exactly. Here we go. Here we go. Now don't that grow too like this. Here we go. <laughs> You're legendary. I'm gonna do a toast. Oh, good. Excellent. I'm gonna do a toast. And here's an extra one. Thank for you. I'll have a spare. Yeah. Um, first of all, before we sit, I want to say a huge thank you. Oh, um, yes. So welcoming us into this wonderful space. How can I know? And we hope you like it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And as we know, this neighborhood is crawling with celebrities. Yes, correct? it is. So You're they'll be knocking on the door. I know. I'll never they'll get be, rid of them now. They'll be clamoring to try and come in and join. Oh, you know what? Oh, is somebody here? Not. They've started Hello. already. I can't believe it. Who could possibly be? Hello. Be here? Here? Would you care to get that? Sure. Linda Levin. Oh, Linda my God. Levin. Holy smoke! I, Linda Lavin. <gasps> How are you? Oh my God! I'm thrilled. That you I've got been it. watching the show, and I was—I only live around the corner, and I thought, what would it be like if I just showed up? I love it. I didn't know we were so neighbors. Sweet. I didn't either until this is my new friend Clive and my new friend Lisa Laporta. Clive and I have met. Hi, honey. Oh, How are you? Do. So oh. nice to because see you. we have dogs. Hi, uh, there you go. You? We have one too, but he's and not so, here right now. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'll and so, her. actually, uh, a little bird told me that he would be here, and I thought, I'm just going to come over. I really? I just live around the corner. For it's a new time. tradition. Oh, my gosh. We're coming <laughs> so, over. I want to see. Would you like I a drink? Smell the R. You're very kind, oh. and I never drink while I'm working. Oh, uh, very good. <laughs> 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 well, then, by all means, have a drink I mean, because this, this is not working. Cool. Better. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, well, I love your martini glasses. They're sensible and, and they, traditional instead of those gigantic. Um, the 10 ounce martini is oh. the scourge on society. Oh, <laughs> this is so sweet. I'm so happy. I, are you happy with, the, with your room? With I the am. I'm over? Actually, there's four of us. We oh, should be sitting over there gorgeous. right now. Oh, but, yeah. uh, I'm dying to taste that. Well, cheers there you go. Exactly. No, cheers. just at the perfect here's time. Here's to your health, and cheers. Um, it's great to meet you. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you. This is yes. so much fun. Let me buy you. We thought we needed a fourth. Oh yeah, that's 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 sometimes you just need a fourth. What was it? Bitters and gin. It, it, it's it's, a, it's oh. basically a martini with orange bitters and uh, orange peel and um, oil. Oh, delicious. it is. And you know the fragrance in the room. Uh, what do you think of the the difference? Oh, it's amazing. She's good. Oh, that Lisa Laporte is really good. She's great, Lisa. <laughs> My husband Steve and I have just bought a new house, not too far away, so we'll still be in Oh, good, okay. Yes, and it's 1927 Spanish um, bungalow style. Ooh, love that. It was oh, built in 27. It's been completely restored, but I have a room. Would you come? Would you come and try I, to fix I it? I would love oh, it. Would you be on house arrest? I would be on house arrest. <laughs> only if I can it? drop by at the and end and you make me a drink. Oh, <laughs> well, do only do it when you're in town. Okay. Okay. Love it. So I, there are three bedrooms, and I'm going to make one of them into my sitting room office. Love it. And I'd love it if you could do something like this. Mm -hmm. It's intimate. It's elegant. People can sit at the bar and look at each other. Yeah. Okay, Linda, I'll make sure that when they do your place, that they'll they get you. <laughs> Dartboard for sure. Yes. <laughs> and the cork board that goes with it. Yeah. Let's do a cheers yeah. to all our viewers who cheers are watching live on Fireside oh, and around the cheers world. Cheers to you all. Um, thank you for being part of our show. Thank you for being the Thank oh. you to Mr. Paul Feig to color me soul. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers. 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 cheers.